All right, welcome to Geometry 8-6, our last section for Chapter 8. And we are studying locus, a set of points. Um, and the first thing is, let's just define locus. So what does locus mean? Locus is, and I'll write this out with you. Let's do it green. Locus is a set of points that share a property. As easy as that. And what does this mean? Well, it means, let's look at our first example here. It means that this, all these dots share the property that they're, let's, let's say that they're, um, I know my drawing's not perfect, that they're two centimeters away from this central point. So this dot is two centimeters away from this, this dot is two centimeters away from this, this dot is two centimeters away from this in the center, right? They're all uh, the same distance. That's the property that they share. Now, a locus can be a growing set of points if the, you know, your parameters was the property that this, uh, they need to share is that they're all two centimeters. Well, you could graph more dots like that that all share two centimeters and even more. And eventually what you end up with is just a solid circle, right? Because the circle is made up of an infinite amount of dots that all are two centimeters away from a centered point. Uh, let's look how else locus could be described. So this says um, we're supposed to describe a locus in a plane here. Um, so all the points are going to be one centimeter from line segment AB. So not just from a point like we looked in our last example. So in this example, was from a point. Now we're saying from a segment AB, right? So from segment AB. Well, let's just graph this. So let's say that this is one centimeter here from AB. This is also a centimeter away. This is also a centimeter away because we're, we're talking about from the whole segment, right? So you can go. And then when you get to the edge here, you're going to start to create that half circle because it's going to curve around always staying one centimeter away. But now that you're back in your segment, you could just follow whatever one centimeter is. When you come to A, you're going to start to create that half circle again. And eventually, this segment is all going to be one centimeter away from here. Right? Same thing with the bottom. This segment is going to be one centimeter away. Uh, and then you come up here, so we're going to start to get that more circle shape, because this is also going to be exactly one centimeter away. Does that make sense? All right. Let's move on to uh, drawing a locus with two conditions. This has one. So draw a locus that satisfy the following two conditions. One, they're equidistant from the intersection of lines K and M. So this is our intersection for lines K and M. Second, the points are five centimeters from the point where K and M intersect. Now again, I'm going to have to approximate five centimeters here. But at first, let's just draw what's true for that they're equidistant from the intersection of K and M. Um, or pick one. This one might actually be more accurate to draw first. They're five centimeters. So I'm going to hypothetically say if this is five centimeters, right, that going around all these other dots would be five centimeters, and we're going to form a circle. Second, um, we need to indicate some points that are equidistant from the intersection here. So, I mean, you could just indicate as many points as you want, but let's say if this graph was a little more true and I could actually count five hash marks moving up, I could say this is point A, and if this was on a grid, I could, on a Cartesian plane, I could also count five and say point B, and coming down, I also can count five C, and then to the left, I can count five D, right? Now, we know that every dot that makes up this circle is five centimeters, but just to label a set of points, um, I'll label A, B, C, and D. Lastly, let's just define a locus in space. So what is a locus of points in space that are C units? So this is the distance from a point D. So D is going to be our center, right? Just to draw this first. D is our center, and C is the number or the distance that it is from D. So all, all of these points are going to be the same distance away from D. And you're going to create a circle. Or more specifically, we could just write the locus is a sphere. Because remember, we're in space, so I, this is hard to see in here. But you have points going to make a sphere. Not I said circle, and that was a mistake. It's a sphere, right? This is because you can come towards me, you can go back into the circle. You can go straight to the left, straight to the right, diagonal between those. 
you're going to create a globe here, right? So locus is a sphere with center D and radius C. That's it. Good luck in your work and see you in chapter 9.